Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing set 77013, Escape from the Lost Tomb. This set has 600 pieces and retails for $40 in the US. This is obviously depicting the scene from when Indy and Sala find the Ark of the Covenant. This set has four great minifigs and a bunch of fun play features. Let's get into it. The first minifigure we have is Marion Ravenwood. Now this minifigure hasn't appeared a lot in Indiana Jones because it was only in two of the movies. Now, to start off with, she does have some great dual mold legs here, and it has the rip lines because she rips off the bottom of her dress to whenever she falls into the tomb. But here, we have the torch that Indy throws her, and you can put that in either of the hands if you want, but you could also give it to, like, Sala or Indy. And she has this newer hairstyle piece, and she has a second facial expression, and the back printing is just... Mwah. I love it so much. Our first minifigure up is Indy. Now this Indy is just slightly different than the one that comes in the Temple of the Golden Idol set from 2023. Instead of having tan hands, he has the gloves, which are movie accurate. And instead of having a whip and a bag, he has just a whip. So, but yeah, that is accurate. He doesn't have a bag when he enters the tomb. And he has the same legs from uh, all three of the sets. The same head and hair, well, ha hair hat combo that's in all the sets. But this one, this torso is different because um, it's just in this set and um, the Temple of the Golden Idol. Because the one in the fighter plane chase has a tie right there. And uh, I realized I didn't show you Indy's back second face, so here it is. Our next minifigure up is Sala. Now Sala is just, he's a simple minifig. He's got a bit of back printing with like this orange strap down there. He has a little crease down there with all those lines for his vest. And he doesn't have any leg or arm pin printing, but that's to be expected. He has his little white cap that's appeared in like some mummy sets. And then this is a new face print for Sala. And it's actually the first Sala minifigure we've ever gotten. So here's the least exciting minifigure, the mummy. Now, I will say it has a, a bit more detail than Sala because it actually has leg printing, but I don't think Sala needs leg printing. Like, I think his tan legs are just good as they are, but he has, like, a bunch of straps on him because he's a mummy, and you can see part of his chest there, and then you can see his back and, uh, like, some more straps on the back of his head for printing, and he has, like, this, this dazed look on him. So, yeah pretty good minifigure, but obviously not the most exciting one of the three. Now let's get on to the tomb. So to start out with, these statues can move 360 degrees. Usually you want to leave them like this for display, but you can have them anywhere like this or that or there. It just depends on where you want to, but I like to keep mine right here. Now there's a lot of studs out here where you can take some minifigures like Indy and Sala and probably even Marion, and you could just place them there to help you get the arc. But then also over here, there's this fun little snake, and with that, you can take Indy, and you can make it look like he's face-to-face -face with the snake, just like he was whenever he first fell into the tomb in the movie. So you can also, with the arc over here, you can have the minifigures hold on to it. Now with Indy, it's a bit tricky. You have to take off his whip, and even then, only you can only have his right hand hold on. His left hand won't fit. So what I suggest is bringing it up like this, so you can, if you wanted to like put him on some studs, you can. And you could just have them like look like they were taking it out of the tomb. Yeah. So with that, the um, you see this lever here. And that's so you're able to drop that down and they're able to get to the next part over here. And you can take a minifigure like Marion and you can face her this way and you can and you can pull this little tab right here. You can pull it and then the mummy will drop down and you can scare Marion. Now a feature I did forget is I did forget about the snake part over here. See, you can take this lever over here. You can just pull it forward a bit and the snake falls out. Now, I think that's pretty cool. All in all, this is a great buy. If you have $40 that you just don't know what to do with, I would totally recommend picking up this set. Or if you already have this set, I would recommend getting the other Indiana Jones sets. 
You can watch the reviews down on my channel, at least one of them anyway. But also, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you all next time.